All right, guys, so No Man's Sky is getting a brand new Halloween update called the Cursed Update and brand new Expedition number 16, which brings in a bunch of very interesting changes. We have a bunch of new bioluminescent enemies, but the biggest reward is going to be this awesome looking new boundary starship. Basically, Millennium Falcon inspired for all of you Han Solo fans out there. In my opinion, it looks absolutely amazing, very unique and it has that really awesome side engine profile that i'm a huge fan of now besides this we also have a brand new cthulhu inspired theme and narrative going on in the expedition we have to fight with supposed voices in our head also some portal changes and also a bunch of other cosmetics including this really awesome headpiece right here again very cthulhu inspired but many other things on top that we're going to check in just a little bit we also get to brew elixirs and just for the ship alone you should definitely go ahead and do it but we do have some patch notes as well as some changes going on right here. So going over that, Expedition 16, The Cursed. So our last update saw players enjoying a nice chill time, fishing in No Man's Sky. Our next update couldn't be more different. As we approach Halloween, we are embracing the spookier side of No Man's Sky's universe, drawing upon threads first established way back in Atlas Rises, when ancient portals began to open and the boundaries between realities first began to crumble. Today, we are announcing Expedition 16 The Cursed, where players will fight to keep a grip on reality while haunted by visions and voices from another dimension. And of course, you've already seen the trailer like pretty much a minute ago, but in the meantime, the curse takes place in a sort of twilight realm, straddling the boundaries between one reality and the next. And we, of course, can see some of those a reality in the form of some of these um, enemies right here. But yeah, travelers will not have access to hyperdrive technology, meaning no warping between star systems. Instead, interstellar travel can only take place in the ancient portal network. And of course, portals also get a small makeover with all of this purple theme energy going on as well. And yeah, it kind of looks like very eerie, of course. There are going to um, be other things purple in this update. But in the meantime, haunting voices leaking through from another dimension will provide guidance, information, strange blueprints, and mystery. It is up to you to decide who these voices belong to, where they are coming from, and if they are to be trusted. And it kind of goes on a bit to further explain some of this stuff. So in regular No Man's Sky play, travelers must steel themselves against a variety of environmental hazards, such as extreme temperatures, radioactivity, and toxic atmospheres. The cursed, however, pits you against a single more insidious threat, the weakening of the boundaries of reality. Your exosuit comes filled with a specialized anomaly suppressor, maintain it to stay firmly in this reality. So it's going to be one of those mechanics, kind of like a shield that if you don't upkeep, you're going to eventually either get damaged or die in a way. Of course, we're going to see that in just a little bit as we are going to jump in the new expedition. But one of the things we get here is spectral anomalies. Ghostly creatures drifting across the boundaries will gather to watch travelers moving through their domain. Most of the time, they are simply there to observe, but be warned as your suit anomaly suppressor weakens, time will begin to behave in non-linear ways, and these anomalies may turn hostile. So there it is. This is basically the mechanic. If you don't um, yeah, recharge that, you're going to get attacked by these enemies. Now, it also goes on to explain how this is going to be kept up. Travelers will need to prepare a number of otherworldly concoctions to navigate through the cursed. Sustain boundaries, strength with the elixir of glass, reveal the location of portals with the elixir of quicksilver, and prize open the gateways with the elixir of blood. For those that reach the end of the journey, its final trail will require a drink from the elixir of water, and the consequences thereafter and we also have the elixirs right here very interesting actually that we are getting drinkables in no man's sky well we kind of do have food but that's a different topic now besides that the cursed expedition begins today and will run for approximately two weeks travel beyond the boundaries and fortify your mind against spectral anomalies or succumb to the call of the world of glass and from this point on, it's pretty much just a bunch of previews of 
some of these rewards we of course have seen some of the glyph posters in today's live stream we also have this new anomaly sealed base part so some of you speculated that this would protect our base in one way or another but basically during the cursed yeah, the spectral energy radiating from this ancient artifact protects nearby entities against catastrophic reality breaches in a more stable universe the anomaly serves as a decorative souvenir from beyond the boundaries so like i said just decorative in the normal playthrough but it can help us in the expedition so i do um, do want to see how this turns out to play and um, we also have the new jetpack by the way in case you didn't see it we did uh, check out the preview i'm not gonna lie i think it looks a little bit better in normal gameplay i was quite disappointed by its preview in the character creation but here it looks a little bit better not that great compared to some of the other rewards because obviously the biggest one is going to be the new horror mandible well besides the ship this is uh, yeah that new horror inspired headpiece that we get to earn from the new expedition and it's a fragment that dwells beyond the tunnels of the portal network again very cthulhu inspired and um, we also get a brand new bioluminescent companion now like a lot of you pointed out yes the one we saw today was a placeholder so this is that new bioluminescent life form we get to have as a companion looks way better in my opinion a lot more unique at the very least compared to what i was expecting besides this the boundary herald starship is obviously the ps of resistance this is what we are going to aim for in terms of finishing this expedition a ufo like but i want to call it a falcon millennium falcon like style starship it's that and it looks just so amazing and we also have a bunch of other close-up screenshots of it right here um, besides that quicksilver synthesis companion also has a bunch of other endeavors mainly in terms of purple and teal fireworks so nothing big going on over here and from this point on just community changes we also have patch 5.20 and besides the expedition we also get a bunch of performance increases so a number of particle rendering optimizations number of graphical corruption issues on xbox also some depth of field um, rendering on the switch number of minor graphical issues on the ps5 and also some shadow rendering optimization on the playstation 5 if you happen to have any problems with that also crash related to loading in frigates this has been quite a big issue in the past few weeks also another one related to weather effects in multiplayer and some large saves um, were also fixed in terms of loading correctly but you can pretty much read all the patch notes and the changes over here as well as all of the other minor bug fixes that we got pretty much everything else is in terms of the expedition itself now there's one more thing i want to cover which is development update so the cursed expedition is our sixth named update in 2024 following omega orbital adrift worlds part one and aquarius and it has been a busy year so far it's incredible to think that only a few weeks ago fishing didn't exist in no man's sky so we are continuing to build our universe and have so much more in store we are also continuing to build our new game light no fire which you can wish list on steam unfortunately no news on that it's pretty much the same old same old no release date no pre-orders or anything up yet so they are definitely taking their time with this game this time around but yeah that is pretty much it with the update i'm gonna see you guys in game we're going to do a live stream a bit later so yeah i'm gonna see you in just a bit and peace out